Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. So we need to hook up all of these foundries that we set up in the last episode. And I'm thinking, well, they, they need two, uh, two stacks or two levels of ingredients because they need to get both iron and uh, coal. So, let's see. How can we do that? Mark 1 belts is enough. Uh, we need to move this a little bit. Uh, like that, I think. And put in... Well, actually we need to, to build this out. Because we need Mark two or even mark three belts i think mark three belts uh, to to come in here so let's see there there something like that and then let's just have a look at uh, getting this going so like that and then we need splitters. We do need splitters. Uh, so let's just, instead of having all of the stuff that we have on our uh, hotbar now, let's just uh, set it up to what we need. So we need splitters. And we will need mergers as well. And I think, oh, uh, we need stackable conveyor poles on five. Splitters on six and mergers on seven. All right. So let's see. And this needs to be close to over here as possible. And I'm guessing that we can't get anything into this thing right now. So let's remove that. Actually, let's let's just remove everything because we. So over here, there, and then put a Mark II belt in, whoops, not there, there, and hook it up over there, and we need the same on top, and hook it up. All right, so we need a splitter for iron, which will be on the bottom, I think. Let's see, it needs to go in right around here. And then we need a splitter on the top for the coal, which needs to go in hmm, right around there. And this just needs to be regular Mark 1 belt, so like so. And we need to do that all the way down. So let's just stick in some splitters and I think, can I walk on this side? No, I can't, dang it. Go there and how am I gonna get this done without pulling off everything and, and dying horribly? So there. And we can stick in the belt. Alright. So that works pretty well. Uh, we have, don't have anything flowing yet, but the the concept works. The concept works. So let's uh, keep that going. Ah, dang it! See, falling off everywhere. So what we could do is just uh, put in some temporary foundations, just so we don't fall off all the time. So let's just do that. Oops, that is not where I want to put. That foundation. 
I do want to keep it open just for the the whole smoke thing because it just seems un it just it just seems un unbearable to have to be in an enclosed room with these smelters bellowing bellowing out the smoke. So I want I want to keep uh, those holes open, but just to set up the thing, uh, let's. Let's uh, build these so that we can get it done. So something like that. Yeah, that this works. This works. So let's get another one over here. Something like that, I guess. And get this set up. Come on, there we go. And splitters. So this one is. Uh, splitter. There. This one is right around here. I want to get it as close as I can. There. And then there's one there. And one there. And one there. I think this will work out just fine. All right. Let's see if all of this lines up. Seems like it lines up pretty nicely. And we just have two more. Yeah, two more. And let's get those hooked up. Put the belt here. Should do. And hook it up there. And of course, the next level we need going to. Uh, encroaching others' clearance. That's the splitter. That's so annoying. So let's do that and then hook up the splitter. There. And we need four more, two in each. And there. 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 All right. Wah, dang it. And it even took off health. All right. Let's just uh, get that done. Here we go. There's the three that we need. Uh, mark one. All right, so now we've set that all up, we can delete these foundations again, so the smoke can keep bellowing out. There we go. All right, so we have the inputs set up. We do need to get the ore going, but uh, that's fine. Uh, we will need to, to get that going on uh, we'll, we'll need to get to get coal from over there somewhere uh, over where we uh, 
have the have the coal for the for the power. We have we have two more nodes, so we can easily uh, get more uh, coal going and get it over here. I think. I hope. Uh, let's just build this up like this for now. I did not want that to go there. There we go. And then we need output of steel ingots. So let's set up an output. I want it to be great. Let's put it there and hope that we can make this work so we need right here we just need a regular Mach 1 and then we need 5 let's bring it over to like so I think no that was one far one too far so So, well, that'll work, I think. And the spelt in there, I'll put mark two in, in there, that's fine. And then we need mergers, and where does it need to go? It needs to go there. And there. Just shorten this a bit. Like that. All right. And we need the output to go in there. All right. That's looking pretty good. I think. Need one more foundation over here, I think. And that that's two. And that two. And then we just need the one last one coming in as well. Put it there. Right. So let's get the belt hooked up. Come on. There. All right. So we need to set up these bad boys, the mergers there. There. There, there, and there. All right, and then just hook them up with some belt. Wow, falling down again and hurting myself. Yeah, okay. But we did get all of this stuff set up. Let's go up and check it. Why? Come on. Okay. I need to leave that. Alright. Can we just jump over there? Yes, we can. Alright. So we have all the outputs uh, set up for these eight foundries and then we need to get it into the factory somehow. Um, so let me just 
figure that out. Uh, I'll also... I think I'll go get the miners hooked up as well. So that we uh, we can actually start producing the steel. Uh, the steel ingots. And then we need it coming out uh, down at the end. But I want to keep it, keep it uniform, I think. So I want to uh, keep it coming out uh, down at this end where it came out before and then get it in and and going so yeah i'll uh hook all of this up real quick and then i'll be back yeah that's the plan that is the plan all right so we're back and everything is set up we have our truck station here where we're bringing in coal it's refueling the truck at the same time the coal is coming over here under this iron and then it is going up in this uh, elevator thing together with the iron which is actually coming from over here we have a node back here behind this stuff so we're using that node for this and it's coming all the way up we have room for two more uh, belts which we will need and then all we actually need to do is hook this up and hopefully we will start producing some uh, uh, some steel ingots so uh, let's try it i have uh, set up down at the coal end uh, i've set up a new truck station uh, for the coal uh, for the truck and hooked up the other two ores or nodes that we had down there so so that uh, we're not uh, cannibalizing the power but yeah here it comes in and we are producing steel ingots fantastic and it should be working all the way down though we are nowhere near saturating uh, uh, the machines because we only have a 60 uh, uh, MK1 miner uh, over here because I had, didn't have materials for an MK2 and uh, so so we need to sp uh, upgrade that to an MK2 and I think we need to uh, once we get the uh, Mark 3 belts uh, we will upgrade this belt to a Mark 3 belt uh, as well as the coal and get it going at uh, 240 or maybe even 270 uh, a minute and we actually need because these take 45 a minute or use 45 a minute so 45 times 8 is uh, let's see 450 360 mm. So we actually need the Mark IV belts uh, once they unlock. I'm pretty sure there are Mark IV belts as well, uh, but we don't have access to them yet. But yeah, we are producing uh, steel ingots and they are coming all the way over here to, whoa, that was not what I wanted, but they are coming all, all the way over to the factory and uh, now we just need to get them down and running alongside uh, the stuff or on top of the copper because i don't th think we will need another copper line down here maybe mm, i'm not sure but it would be nice to get it down on top of the copper actually i think so let's see can we do that by Putting this there and just going like that. Yes, we can. All right. And then we can just run it along. We will need to bring, tear that up in order to do it, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, let's just stick the poles on and then we can pull it along all the way there you go. I 
hope I don't have anything in the way of doing this. I do, but I can run it under here and then come up there. So we need a uh, logistics conveyor pool, just a regular one on there. And then it could come up on here, hopefully. Let's try it. Yes, it can. And it can come from up there, on there. Let's just pull the belts along as we go. It is. Don't know what happened there. Alright. And there. And the last one, which will give us a headache because of the... Yeah. Because of the splitter. But we'll just fix that real quick. That. And then we will put the splitter in again. So, and get the build going. There, like so. All right. So we have, let's jump up here, steel ingots on our ingot bus. Very nice. Like I said, it's not optimal yet, but it will be. And it's okay that it's not optimal for now. All right. And they will come all the way out and come up there. Uh, eventually, let's see, are they there already? Yes, they are. Great. Oh no, that's iron. No, they're not. Oh, here they come. Which means that we can start setting up uh, our very first steel production which will be uh, steel ingots or uh, steel beams which actually just needs a constructor so what we can do is we can just place a constructor down here needs a little bit of space for some output let's give it quite a bit of space actually because some of the other productions will not be as simple as one constructor. So let's just put a constructor there. And tell it to make steel beams. Steel pipes is also this simple. But then, uh, then it gets a lot more complex. Uh, so steel beams for you. And... Oh. Uh, not you, another constructor, or steel pipes, and I'll need that to come up top so it can go down and come out into those two, but uh, we'll figure that out, we'll figure that out, somehow. Uh, alright, alright, alright. And what do we need? We need to pull all these along. So, let's see, I think we will have the lines. A bit further out, like this, I think we'll have them. So that will be iron. And this will be uh, copper and steel. Here, I think, the right spot. Let's check it. No, it's not. We need to come forward one. 
Well, there is the right, right spot, I guess. Try it. Yes, it is. All right. Stick another one on top there. This will be the right spot. There's another one up there. And... Two up. And... Two up. And then we just need to bring it along. And how are we going to get the steel over there? Hmm. Because now we have the iron in the way. Hmm. Maybe we could just lift it up one or two that is a possibility yeah i think that is what we'll do uh, so have you there and you there and bring these things along This needs to come up. I wonder if it can. Just like this, I doubt it. It can. Great. And the Ford. Oh, I am out of uh, reinforced iron plate. Let's just go get that. I actually don't want to have this in hand. So let's just pick up some reinforced iron plate and get those two hooked up. And then I think we will call this an episode. Uh, where is the reinforced iron plate? Oh, it's down here. Here, I think. Yes. Let's just pick some up. go that'll do for now comes the truck that's the power truck all right And then we can put splitters in. Uh, the, there. There. And hopefully this isn't too steep. So you to make steel pipe. You to make steel ingot. And then they just need some power. it up another power line don't really have any going here I have one <clears throat> sorry uh, we have one over here so let's uh, put a power pole in here and there 
We are producing steel beams and steel pipes. Outstanding. And this is actually taking up 45 steel ingots a minute, which means that right now we only have another 15 a minute, which is not a whole hell of a lot. But we will fix that by upgrading uh, to Mark II miners. Then we will have quite a bit more. So yeah, that's that. So thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.